in the blue corner wearing the black trunks. As a professional from six contests, he has three wins and three losses. He weighed in at 12 stone, nine and a half pounds from Canning Town. A welcome please to Oville McKenzie. And his opponent across the ring in the red corner, wearing the white trunks trimmed with silver. He has the undefeated professional record of 15 wins from 15 contests. Eight of those wins coming inside this scheduled distance. He weighed in at 12 stone, nine pounds, and comes to the ring as the reigning English light heavyweight champion from Ipswich, Steve the Gladiator Spartacus. For the man in the cutaway white trunks trimmed with uh, silver is Steve Spartacus, who's the current English light heavyweight champion, won that vacant title just before Christmas with a very impressive third round stoppage of uh, Scott Lansdowne. This is a non-title contest scheduled for six three-minute rounds. His opponent, born in Jamaica some 24 years ago when boxing out of the Peacock Gym in Canning Town, is Oval McKenzie. I thought Oval McKenzie was desperately unlucky in his last fight. Now we've seen McKenzie a few times. He actually came here following a, a very decent win in November of last year against Leamington's Edwin Cleary, and that was in Coventry. And Cleary had just lost one of his 11 previous. And this is the makings of a pretty decent fight. Round the corner, right hand from Oval McKenzie. Very nearly caught Spartacus, who uh, won't be too happy if those good looks of his get messed up a bit, Duke. I thought he was very desperately unlucky when he lost to Courtney Fry. He gave such a good account of himself that night. And, you know, he's looking to pick up off of that against this guy. He knows that if he can beat Spartacus, well, he's on his way. He's taken his time. He's been uh, looked after well by Tony Sims and Terry Stewart are in his corner. Mackenzie's caught him once again with that right hand. And Spartacus is marking up a little bit underneath that left eye of his, and he won't be happy with that. Good left. From, that's better stuff from Spartacus. Nearly caught his man. It's Mackenzie who set the pace in this opening round. using that longer reach of his and he's being a little bit snappier with the jab that was a good right hand Mackenzie ducked into it slightly better work now from Spartacus yeah, good McKenzie's left from him yeah Mackenzie's just got his chin up too high and he walked onto a beautiful left hook well, that's a pretty dangerous combination low hands high chin Spartacus tags him again with the left Better work from Spartacus in this round. Looking for a, a crack at Oboe's title at some stage. And that would make a very interesting contest. He's got to get past Oboe McKenzie first. And this is building up to be a, a little minor classic. And the pace of anything is uh, quickened. Good right hand from Spartacus. A little stinger right to the chin. That was a good little shot from him. And McKenzie, interesting, now is backing away, Duke. He's looking for that one shot. And all the time he's... He's waiting for it, he's just getting picked off. Solid shot into the midriff by Spartacus. Well, it was very busy. Spartacus just needed to step in with that one. He was stretching all the way and the punch didn't land with the, the full force. But that was not a bad shot at all. That left hook to the temple caught over McKenzie. And Curtis brings them together. This has been a, a terrific light heavyweight contest so far. Already, you know, as I said, this McKenzie's proven to be a much more elusive target than Scott Lansdowne was, so he's making it much more difficult for Spartacus to land a clean shot. This is where Spartacus needs to do his best work. When he gets in close, he should start working the body. And he's puffing ever so slightly. Some of those big shots by Spartacus are hurting him. Spartacus has to cover up, and he does that pretty well. He's got a nice high guard, and that was actually better well from Spartacus. because he triple jabbed there, but didn't do anything after that. But there's that hook again that comes over the top. Nasty little graze underneath the right eye of Oval McKenzie. Well, he looks uh, very strong. He's only a couple of pounds over the light heavyweight limit. And Twelve and a half stones. And now McKenzie's punches don't seem to be bothering him too much. You know, nice high tight guard. Just walking in. Might see him inject more pace into this though. Start using both hands instead of single shots. Good right by McKenzie, just half blocked. Spartacus has to cover up. Well, McKenzie's by no means out of this. He's got him hurt, I'll tell you that. He walks onto a massive right hand from McKenzie. Spartacus has to go back, his legs aren't ready all there. 
Well, Mackenzie's really piling on the pressure and is threatening to cause something of an upset. 25 seconds to go. Spartacus will really have to hold on to the end of this one. And this contest has turned back round again. And I'll tell you what, Mackenzie was more experienced if we take a step back because he's actually holding Spartacus up. He's had him hurt and pretty much out of there, and he's holding him up. Spotting us under fierce pressure now from Oval McKenzie, who is justifying the dark horse tag that has been uh, that he's been labelled with, produced by uh, Oval McKenzie. Spartacus is well in command, and there was the punch that started the whole thing off. A lovely little right hand travelled no more than six inches. Oh, caught him on the legs, as Duke McKenzie quite rightly observed, absolutely wobbled. And McKenzie's working nicely. Spartacus trying to load up for that big right hand, and McKenzie's wary of it. But there's that right hand again from McKenzie. He seems to be reading Spartacus really well right now. For a striking pace they've kept up from the start, Duke. They and certainly they still could go any way. They certainly haven't. Both Spartacus eyes now are both starting to mark up. He switches southpaw to try and confuse McKenzie now. He's leading with the right hand. And his mouth's dropping open. He's both his eyes are marked up, and he's still forcing the fight. This is what he's all about, Spartacus. Well, this is great stuff from Steve Spartacus. He's been in quite a few really, really tough contests. The former ABA semi-finalist. He's picking it up, but his uh, both eyes are marking up very badly underneath. No sign of any cutting at all at this stage. Terry Stewart getting himself ready to look after him. Mackenzie's really going for this again. This was the point in the previous round where Mackenzie came on strong. But Mackenzie's meeting far with far, and he's done it again. And he's blocking all the shots of Spartacus and better footwork from Mackenzie. And Spartacus again on the ropes where he doesn't want to be. This what a could, terrific round that was. This could slip away. You know, this is where Spartacus wants it, right in tight, right in close, where he can do his best work. But as he does so, he leaves himself open every time. A little bit of desperation in the work of Spartacus being made to miss. Good footwork by Oval McKenzie. And now Steve Spartacus coming out of the red corner. Won all five from five last year, including the English title. Needs to pick it up. Good left hand by him. This is a really good start to the round by Spartacus. And Oval McKenzie from Canning Town, born in Jamaica, is having to hold on a little bit. Well, Spartacus needs something big to turn this fight in his favour, and he started this round like a man on a mission. Well, he needs to follow that up, because McKenzie, as we saw in his contest with uh, Courtney Fry, is not a bad boxer. Good right from McKenzie, and a left to follow. And Spartacus certainly caught the left flush, tried with a right of his own. Every time McKenzie drops that right hand, he shut us Spartacus right to his boots. And now he's really starting to bully Spartacus back physically. He's just making Spartacus fall short. He's not landing with anything really cleanly. Well, Spartacus did get him there with a good right. Left to the ribs by Spartacus, but more of a slap. This really is a fiercely contested contest. Well, there's one more round after this. There's one minute of this round. Right hand by Spartacus was close enough. Wonder how Ken Curtis is seeing this. Well, I do have a feeling that certainly Mackenzie's winning this at the moment. Left by Spartacus was well. a good right hand and he took one immediately back. What a great chin this fellow Mackenzie has. Spartacus gets him again. A wee bit of a wobble in the Mackenzie knees. Less than half a minute to go. This has been an absolute little cracker. It's a corker, it really is. It could be all down to this last round. There wasn't much between them in that one. That was another what terrific round. There wasn't much more than a coat of paint in that left hand. And uh, Spartacus came through. That was a good shot by Spartacus. And immediately, McKenzie replied with more of the same. No, two great exchanges. Straight into the face and straight back, tit for tat, no title at stake, but is Steve Spartacus going to lose his unbeaten record? I'll tell you what, we see, sometimes you don't see this much action in championship fights, these two are really credit to themselves. Spartacus always starts the round with a big left hook as he did there. Well, he really needs to win this one, I think, to make sure. I might just have got Mackenzie ahead. And Spartacus is coming forward, goes back to Southpaw yet again, trying to tee him off and try to confuse him a little bit. But Mackenzie's footwork is terrific. 
and he turned Spartacus very nicely. Well, there was a wee look of resignation on the face there of Steve Spartacus. He gave a little bit of a swug as he came forward. Mackenzie hanging on desperately now. Getting Spartacus on the rope and leaning in and not allowing the Ipswich man to unload with big right hands, which is his norm. Well, Spartacus cannot afford to lose this one if he's going to challenge his pal Peter Obo for the Commonwealth title. Just over a minute remaining, Mackenzie on the old bike trying to keep his man away and doing a good job. He's not really doing too much, he's not really doing being too busy. Just putting enough daylight between these two. There it is again, there's the right hand. Good again. footwork, yep. He got himself caught and he's turned his man. So Spartacus, 15 contests, 15 wins. English champion. Is he going to come on stuck here? He got caught with a very good right hand from Oval McKenzie in his own corner. And Spartacus is finding this very tough indeed. And Mackenzie has found your extra strength from somewhere less than 30 to go. And this has to be the upset, certainly, of the night. Mackenzie's boxed out of his skin, full credit to the kid. Well, it's Ken Curtis's decision from where we're sitting. There's only going to be one winner, and that's going to be Mackenzie. And he's really putting even more pressure under Spartacus, who can't get off the ropes. Mackenzie swarming all over him. Giving Spartacus no room, it's Mackenzie's got it. Spartacus has lost his unbeaten record. And Oval Mackenzie, in just his seventh professional contest, gets his fourth professional win. And you would think he had won the championship of the world. There's such a bounce in his step. And he really deserved that right from the opening round. And Steve Spartacus, well, a lackluster Steve Spartacus. And he's going to have to do a major rethink. Ladies and gentlemen, after six hard four rounds of boxing, your referee, Ken Curtis, scores contest. Steve Spartacus, 57 points. Oville McKenzie, 58 points. The winner, Oville McKenzie. And I'm sure he'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate for a tough boxer, Steve Spartacus.